accidentally broke this teapot in the store. Look, it was super embarrassing. They didn't have the lid taped on very well. So, I mean, it's not really my fault, but when I picked it up, the lid went flying and it shattered and I swear everybody was looking. I don't know that for sure, but I could definitely feel their stares as I was crawling along the ground, picking up all the little pieces. So, I mean, I bought it, obviously. Look, I can do something cool without a top on. He, that's what she said. <clears throat> so I'm just taking a bunch of trash and I'm gluing it to the side along with some clay and of course some lights. And here I'm just adding a shelf with these popsicle sticks or are they tongue depressors? I'm pretty sure they are because I've never seen a popsicle stick that big. But I don't know. I don't see a lot of popsicle sticks. I'm more into salt than sugar. Okay, I'm not quite sure why that sounded like I was coming out as a lesbian. I'm not. I mean, I believe in connections with people rather than what's between their legs. But I am married to a man. A man who will not let me get a circle window. That's right, I haven't got my circle window yet. He keeps telling me no, but last I checked, marriage is a 50-50 partnership. So can I at least get a crescent window? Are there any lawyers here? Do we have grounds to sue? Not that I would sue my husband, but threatening a lawsuit, that's a different matter. Anyways, we're way off topic. So back to that shelf that I'm making. You know, the one made out of tongue depressors. I think it's missing some goodies. So assuming that fairies live in this teapot, what would fairies keep on a shelf? Fire and moss? I don't know what fire is. I mean, look, I know what fire is, but I don't know why it's in a bottle. Maybe it's some sort of potion, like a fire breathing potion. Wait, do fairies have potions or is that just witches? Hold up, why do witches even have potions in the first place if they have wands? Seems like anything that you would do with a potion, you could do with a wand. I mean, maybe if you want to be sneaky about it and like slip it into their drink. Anyways, these are the questions that keep me up at night. Okay, so since I broke the top, my teapot hole is a little empty, so I'm going to fill it with clay. Okay, put your comment section down. I can already see people saying that I'm wasting clay here, but trust me, this clay is terrible. And rather than throw it out, I'm using it. Anyways, it will make sense in a moment. So I need the bottom to be heavy because I'm going to add something to the top and I don't want it to tip over easily. You know, I really should be sponsored by aluminum foil. What the heck, big aluminum? I'm pretty sure I used a whole roll on this teapot. Anyways, if you haven't guessed, I'm adding a tree. Look, I know this tree pot. Did I just say tree pot? I mean teapot. I know it doesn't make sense that this teapot has a small tree in it. If it's meant for fairies, there's probably small trees out there. Like, oh my gosh, bonsai trees. Those are small. I can't believe I forgot about bonsai trees. See, so it's a, it's a freaking bonsai tree, not like a maple tree. Anyways, here's the finished product. So yeah, I added some mushrooms and some rocks and a freaking swing. Look at that. It's a swing. So I added these vines to cover up the light string because we couldn't just have a bare naked light string out there. Gotta hide it. But of course we had to add a little teacup with some food. Fairies gotta eat too. And of course one of the circle windows. Okay, here's what it looks like with the lights on and they're all flashy and pretty. There's our cool shelf. Oh yeah, and then the moment you've been waiting for, the tree. Look at that tree, which we now know is a bonsai tree. I mean, that's what I meant to make all along was a bonsai tree. What am I doing with the camera? Stop it. Uh -huh. Okay, so and this is what it looks like with the lights off. What do you guys think? 